Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2021 IMT Des Moines Marathon vlog recap. If you're new here, hi, my name is Riley. Over the past several months, I have been training for the I-35 Challenge, which is the Kansas City Marathon on Saturday and the Des Moines Marathon on Sunday. And a couple of weeks ago, I actually ran the races and was successful in my attempt of running the I-35 Challenge. I got the ring light on today. <laughs> it's that time of year where um, natural light is hard to come by, so I need to film with uh, my ring light. It's almost winter and I hate every second of it. <laughs> but yes, today we are going to be talking about my experience at the Des Moines Marathon in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm wearing my quarter zip that you got at the expo um, with your, your bib and your, your gear bag. Um, I think this is a really nice top to give your runners. I really appreciate when uh, races do something different than t-shirts um, and having this nice quarter zip is really nice. There's a 26.2 on the back um, and then the the half marathon got uh, the same thing but they had red sleeves and a 13.1 on the back so it's very cozy. I am a big fan. I'll be wearing it throughout the winter during training. I am certain of that. But yes, we're talking about day two of the I-35 challenge, which is the Des Moines Marathon. Um, if you haven't seen my first video in this series, I recommend going to watch that first so you know what's going on. But similarly to the last video, I didn't do a lot of commentary <laughs> on this vlog. I did a really great job of documenting the run, um, but actually speaking to the camera, that didn't really happen. So let me take you through what my experience was at the Des Moines Marathon this year. So essentially, as soon as we were done at the Kansas City Marathon, once Jocelyn finished, once we took our photos, we basically instantly left the city. <laughs> Ooh, I-35 to Des Moines. So Kansas City is about three hours south of Des Moines, um, and, so, and so we need to get in the car and get up to Des Moines so we can get to the expo before it closed. The expo on Saturday for the Des Moines Marathon closed at 6 p.m., we were done um, in Kansas City by like 1.30. So we basically all got in the car. We went up to Des Moines um, and got there in like a little under three hours. As soon as we got to Des Moines, we headed over to the expo, um, picked up our bibs um, and our gear bags. And then we were all starving because <laughs> we had to rush so quickly to get from Kansas City to Des Moines before the expo closed. Um, that we didn't stop for food. Um, and so we were all so hungry. And so we went to uh, this little brewery kind of place that had a huge wall of taps, pretty much any kind of beer you could uh, want. <laughs> a huge wall. I wish we had more time because I would have loved to go back and like sample some beers and stuff. But we all got food. I had some fish tacos. I also got like the tiniest little baby beer to kind of like celebrate my finish at Kansas City. <laughs> so uh, we got some food and then we headed to our Airbnb and basically just like went to sleep because we had a big race in the morning. Luckily our Airbnb was right next to the start and finish line. So we didn't really have to like get up any earlier than necessary. Um, the race actually started at eight o'clock, which is like pretty late for a race start. Um, so we were just really enjoying the fact that we could like sleep in until like seven and still <laughs> get to the race on time.
was just doing this. Where you were. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> this feels familiar. <laughs> Woo! We're doing the thing. After the mile four marker, I tweaked my ankle and I don't know what I did to it really. Um, I think it was just an overuse thing. Miles three to about eight were really, really hilly, like big, big hills. Um, and mile four was a downhill, but I took a, a step and I just felt something go wrong in my ankle. I didn't roll my ankle or anything like that. It just like, I felt pain. Um, and I was like, oh no, because <laughs> we're at mile four of the marathon, meaning I had 22 more miles to get through. I slowed it down a little bit, took it easy, but I, pain, pain, lots of pain. Um, and I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to actually make it the rest of the way, uh, because I had tweaked my ankle so early on into the race. I was like, I need to suck it up <laughs> and hope that it wasn't anything too serious. Uh, that is what I was dealing with from that moment forward. Like I said, miles three to eight were really, really hilly. So those were pretty difficult to get through, especially with my ankle feeling the way it did, um, but had to go and tackle it. Here we go. 22 miles on a bum ankle. Who would have thought? <laughs>
quarantine, I was just feeling so like frustrated with how my ankle was feeling and just being in pain and just like really tired and fatigued. I just like wasn't having a good time. <laughs> and especially at that point in the race, I feel like for most marathons, miles like 15 to like 20, like those five miles are probably the most difficult miles because it's like you are so far from finishing and you've already run so far. And so like, this is where like a lot of the emotions come out, <laughs> at least for me, at least in my experience running marathons, like those, those five miles are always like the toughest. And so around mile 17, I um, had FaceTimed Brett <laughs> and was basically just like crying because I was like, I just felt like I was in so much pain and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish. I wasn't sure if I had like really hurt myself. Um, and so I was just like in tears and, um, but luckily, you know, Brett was so great and just encouraged me and just gave me the motivation I needed to keep going um, and just knowing that he was just kind of following along with my race and wondering how I was doing and um, and he showed me Snowy and uh, Harper because we were dog sitting at the time um, and it was just nice to see like my person and my dog and our neighbor's dog <laughs> um, when I was just feeling really low. And at the same time, my dad actually texted me and was like, how are you doing? And wanted to check in. Um, and so I was like texting him about my ankle and stuff. And he's like, just take it easy. Like no reason to get a major injury um, and just, just get to the finish. And I'm like, okay. And so like, I'm like, I know like my people were around me, like even though they weren't there with me, they like were thinking of me and that's like all the motivation I needed to, to keep going. I think marathons they can be done solo but they are so much easier to accomplish when you know you have a group of people who are rooting for you so i appreciate my people so thank you to everybody who reached out and texted and called and everything throughout this weekend and during my training like it just makes a world of difference but with my motivation from my people at mile 17 i uh pushed forward um, and was like, I need to get this done. I need to get this marathon done. And so that's exactly what I did. Mile 17. Mile 18. Mile 19. Next level.
that, I had finished the Des Moines Marathon, day two of the I-35 Challenge, my first double marathon weekend. So crazy to say. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I'm allowed to be uh, scared of marathons anymore if I did two in one weekend. And it's not only the fact that I did the two races, but it's just like the, the months of training, the miles that I put in was like, just made me such a different runner. And I, I, I perceive this distance so differently now that I've done it two days in a row. It's really incredible like what this experience has done for me as a runner. Would I do a double weekend again? Um, I actually think I would. <laughs> I actually think I would do a double weekend again. It's crazy that I've got two states out of one trip for my 50 states challenge. And I know that there are other double weekends out there, um, which I think I definitely would want to take advantage of in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll have another one very soon. I have medals to show you. I let me show you the medals. So this is the Des Moines Marathon medal. Um, this was their 20th running of the Des Moines Marathon. Um, and so this was uh, their theming. They have the uh, date on the ribbon, which if you remember from my last video was a, a point of contention for the Kansas City <laughs> Marathon, um, but you know, Got the, the their little logo for the year, and it's interesting because it's I think it's just painted metal, but it kind of looks like it's ceramic at the same time. Um, and then there's a little hook here. If you did one of the races in Des Moines the day before the marathon, you would get like an additional charm that you can like hang off of this. Um, I didn't do it, so I, it's just gonna be a nothing. <laughs> but here's the Des Moines marathon medal. I'll put that on. And then I have a second medal for you for completing the I-35 challenge. We have this medal, which is, uh, it looks like a little highway sign um, with I-35 challenge on there. At the top, you can see it says Kansas City and Des Moines. And then we have the Garmin Kansas City Marathon and the INT Des Moines Marathon. And then this spins, so you can flip it to finisher or you can flip it to challenge. And then the strap we have, it says challenge accepted, which I love that. It said a challenge accepted on my Des Moines Marathon bib. And then it has the dates. It says Garmin, Kansas City Marathon, October 16th, 2021. And then it says the, oh my gosh, the IMT Des Moines Marathon on October 17th, 2021. So I got two pieces of race bling at the Des Moines Marathon. I can't believe I did two marathons in one weekend. <laughs> uh, I will forever feel stupid for doing it, um, but I did it. <laughs> and that's it, man. <laughs> I don't know how to end this. It's been a crazy three and a half months of running, dying in the heat, passing out in the shower, doing back-to-back -back long runs, and I ran two marathons back-to-back. -back. Incredible. Anywho, there will be more running content to come. Just stay tuned. There's lots in store for the future for me for running. Um, I'm nowhere near finished, that's for sure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.